until NFTs, it was all about money, right? But that actually isn't a great engagement mechanism to get everyday people excited. How is it, our model different? Until NFTs, it was all about money, right? But that actually isn't a great engagement mechanism to get everyday people excited. So it's, yeah, it's, it's clear that this strategy, these questions have led to huge numbers, right? So how, how, how is it, our model different? Why has a team from Vietnam been able to introduce this concept to the world? What about our model makes us different? What did we really invent? Well, one of the key differences, right, is in the business model, right? Web3 is about getting rid of gatekeepers and middlemen. And we felt like there were so many layers of extraction in the current gaming industry, right? In the current model, developers are selling game items to players, like resources, skins, game copies, and they're taking all of the money. Plus, on top of that, there are all these, there are these middlemen, right? The publishers and the app stores that are taking 20 or 30% of all of the transaction volume. Our model is different, where we focus on growing the player-to-player -player market, right? Where 95% of all the value actually goes directly to the players. So one way to think of it is, right, we're using this model that allows us to low, we're lowering our margin by a lot compared to a traditional developer. So how do we bootstrap this community? Well, at 500 Startups Accelerator, Sala, we learned about growth experimentation. In the early days, we did a lot of different experiments to get axes in the hands of people. Right. For example, a lot of us, we came from the CryptoKitties community, right? So we were giving out axes, manually recruiting members to our community by gifting CryptoKitty community members axes. Right. Like Peter Thiel in Zero to One, right? He talks about how in the early days you have, to, the founders actually have to be like recruiters of users, manually doing it one by one. And I think this is actually the stage that most startups die because they're not willing to actually do the work on the ground going to where the users are and onboarding them by hand. And I think because the way that we did that and the users that we targeted in the early days, that was what led us to creating, allowed us to create this community of missionaries that really were super aligned with our vision. So yeah, we, you know, and the, the, the scale of that is, is, key, is clear, right? Where Axie is one of the largest discords in the world, it's the largest discord in Web3 gaming.